So we're here with Cahill drivers, Kaylin Frederick and Miguel Garcia, Formula Atlantic drivers, 15 years old and 17 years old. I know that you guys, most guys take, you know, until they're in their early 20s if they get to Formula Atlantic. You guys just you finished one, two today in this in this amazing race. What's your thoughts on Formula Atlantic and how was today's race? Uh, today's race was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I had a really great start and uh, just drove away, didn't make too many mistakes, and uh, Cahill gave me uh, uh, an awesome car today, you know, um, able to do what I did, and I'm just really thankful for them uh, giving me such a great opportunity. Wonderful. Miguel, what do you think? What was, how was your experience in today's race? Well, today's race was a pretty fun session. Uh, luckily, unluckily, we didn't have that pace during qualifying, so uh, we kind of just discovered what, what I was able to do in, in race one, and hopefully we'll get the same pace tomorrow for race two. That's the great thing about double race weekends. You know, you have just that extra little bit to go. So, if you don't mind me asking, where did you guys? What got your start in racing? You know, you said you're 15 years old, which is just amazing to me. That you, what do, what do people think when you like your friends when you're driving a car that's one step below Indy cars and yet you can't drive on the street? Uh, what, I mean, how do you explain that to some people? I mean, it's actually really hard to explain to people at school, you know, my age, what I do, because they don't really understand it. They just think I'm just going out wheeling a car like on the road. But uh, you know, it's a lot different with the you know physical, mental, and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I mean, it's hard to explain to them. But most people, when you come to a racetrack, that understand what what you're doing. And I tell them that I'm 15 years old. They're really surprised and impressed. So yeah. So you obviously have professional aspirations. I know there's limits on certain races. Like you, I think you, uh, your father mentioned you can't go to Europe right now. They won't let you race. I guess Max Verstappen ruined that for everyone. Is that the they put a, a limit on that at 18? Is that the deal now? Uh, it's the limit is 16. So. Um, the, the goal was to try to get me over there this year, but uh, I won't be able to start the season because I'm still 15. So uh, maybe next year we'll see what happens over there, but hopefully I might be able to get over there and do some stuff, yeah. What kind of karting did you start in? If you could tell somebody else, how did they get started in this? What would they? What would you recommend? So it started out just like as a thing for fun that I went to at a track pretty close to me. I had a, my own cart. We put it in the back of my van, drove there, and did a few races. And then, you know, we started to get uh, a bit more interested in it because we saw that I was actually doing pretty well. So then we moved on to national races like WKA, and I did that for a year. And uh, I won the Great Lakes Sprint Series that year. And uh, then the next year I started doing uh, Rotax stuff, like the Rotax National and the Florida Winter Tour races and Rock Cup and Scusa and that was like the I did that for two years and those were the two years where I really started to excel and grow and then um, we, we decided to move up into cars because it, it was getting pretty expensive at that point. We just thought it would be a, g a good jump to just move into cars. Yeah, when you're already spending that kind of money, it's like, why not just go do it? Is that so? Is Formula Atlantic the first car, the first car you drove? Uh, so I started an F1600 as well. Uh, I started testing when I was 13 and missed the first few races of the, the my first season because uh, I was still 13 years old. So I turned 14 at VIR and was able to race from then on. Then last year I did USF 2000. Uh, got fourth in that championship did pretty well uh, and then this year I'm looking to do maybe a bit more MR of the MRTI stuff and some Atlantic races. That's wonderful. How about you? Where did you get your start, Miguel? Well, the same thing as Kaylin kind of happened, you know, cards, especially on a national level in the U.S. are really expensive. So I had my first car race when I was, I started testing when I was 13, but instead of uh, single seaters or Formula cars, I went the GT car route. Mm -hmm and raced when I was 14 for factory Ginetta USA. And one thing led to another. I, I, was, I really wanted to do Formula 3 the following year. I, it, it looked like I was going to happen. I did some preseason testing and 10 days before the season, my deal fell through for things out of my power. I had to take a gap year and I did some rally car races as well. Tried, tried some different things, but ultimately, I mean, you cannot compare to Formula Atlantic and things like that. So that's what brought me back here. Well, that's interesting. It's uh, you know, you so you took a gap year. You're, you're seven. You said you're 17 years old. You already have a gap year under your belt. That's that's an interesting way to look at that. But uh, I know it's you bounce it back and forth, and that's that's interesting. What do you think about that going back from GT cars to open wheel cars? Is that is that a big transition for you? It is mainly on the level of commitment that you have to have with a car in, in a Formula car, especially with this Atlantic engine. If you want to be fast, you have to trust the car and believe your race engineer that that car can actually do the stuff that they tell you to do. I think that. Once you get it down, I mean, at first it's, it may look like a lot, but once you get stuff down, it's just, you know.
video starts clicking, and that's where the left hand comes. That's, that's interesting. I, I haven't met anybody that has jumped back and forth that often at, at such a young age. I'm, I'm very impressed, guys, and I just want to say congratulations on your success so far, and I'm sure that you guys are going to do well. Look for these guys in the future. I know it's definitely in a few years. I'm sure you guys are going to be banging on the IMSA doors or hopefully the IndyCar doors. Let's put it that way. So uh, best of luck tomorrow, and uh, hopefully you guys can repeat today's success. So, again, once again, thanks for taking the time to meet with us, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Thank